Hi guys, welcome back to Grace Gaddy Pilates. Today I'm gonna to take you through a beginner reformer workout. So you'll need three red springs and a blue. You're gonna lie into your back, feet are hip width distance apart. We're gonna work into our bridging. So we're gonna exhale, imprint the small of our back into the carriage, lift the hips up to the ceiling. And then I want you to lower yourself down one vertebrae at a time. So the idea with bridging is to articulate the spine the whole way up and then the whole way down. So think about the tailbone peeling off first, followed by the middle of your back, followed by almost the upper, and then you're gonna lower down from the upper, middle, and then the tailbone's the last one to be released. And again, exhaling, peeling the tailbone off, lifting up, press evenly through both heels, and then lower yourself down one vertebrae at a time. So you should start to feel the spine warming up. Feels like a bit of a stretch and release. Lower yourself down. This time we're gonna keep the tailbone heavy. Inhale, take a deep belly breath. As you exhale, press evenly through both heels and then inhale, bend the knees, draw the carriage back in. So you want the knees in line with your second toes. You're controlling the springs on the way out and on the way back in. Six more. Exhale, pressing away for five. Inhale to bend, four, press evenly through both heels for three, two more. Last one, pressing out all the way. You're gonna come down halfway. You've got little tiny pulses up and down. Nice, using your breath here. You've got eight more for seven, six, two inches up, two inches down, four more. Three, two, one, pressing out all the way length in your legs. Well done. Bend your knees, draw the carriage in. This time we're gonna slide our toes down to where our heels just were. Draw your heels together and with your knees, have them a shoulder width distance apart. You're gonna exhale, press out through the balls of the feet, lengthen and squeeze your inner thighs as you extend the legs and then inhale to bend. Exhale, pressing away, inhale to bend. Always keeping those heels glued together. On this next one, you're gonna come down halfway. We've got little tiny pulses up and down here for 10, nine, eight. Keep the heels lifted and squeezed together. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Extend the legs out all the way. Keep the legs straight, let's separate the heels. You're gonna come into calf raises. So inhaling, lowering both heels underneath. Exhaling, lift the heels back up. Inhale to lower both heels underneath. Exhale, lifting up through the backs of the legs. So working your whole calf muscle. Keep the heels lifted. You're gonna bend your right knee, let your left heel sink underneath. Just hold that stretch and release through the back of the left calf. Then come up through demi point. You're gonna to swap to the other side. And then press through both feet. Draw the carriage all the way in. Let's place the heels wide onto the foot bar. Allow for a slight external rotation to come from the hips. And you're gonna exhale, press out through both heels, lengthen your legs all the way, and then inhale to bend. So starting to connect through the inner thighs, the glutes, you're still feeling your quads working. Using your breath here, exhale, lengthening the legs, inhaling to control and draw the carriage in. Mm-hmm. 
coming down halfway now you've got little pulses up and down two inches up two inches down ten to go for nine eight seven six five on the home stretch three to go and two last one pressing out all the way lengthen your legs well done bend the knees draw the carriage in you can hug your knees into your chest give yourself a little rock from side to side that's our footwork done for today and we're going to come up from there to change over to one red spring and we're going to add the long box on on top of the carriage nice you're going to sit on top of your long box facing towards the back of your reformer reach down grab hold of your short loops so you want to make sure that you've got a nice 90 degree angle with the legs so your knees are in line with your ankles, your feet are firmly on the headrest. With two straight arms, you're gonna exhale, pull back in the straps, draw the hands back behind your hips, and then inhale, float the arms forward. So keep either your knuckles or your fingertips reaching down towards the floor. Draw your shoulder blades in together as you pull into your straps, and then inhale to release. Exhale, pulling back. Inhale to release. Belly button's drawing to your spine. You want to create space and length through the spine. So think about reaching the crown of your head up to the ceiling. Last one here. Now you're going to cross the straps over. So I want you to grab hold of the plastic part of your straps or yours might be knotted. I want you to exhale, bend the elbows out wide and then inhale, extend the arms long. So this is your rowing. You want to keep the body nice and still as you pull into your straps and as you release your straps. Exhaling and then inhale to release. last one here let's uncross those straps now place the right long loop onto your shoulder pin with your left hand still grab hold of the plastic part of the rope your right hand's coming behind your head we're coming into a single arm row so we're exhaling drawing the left elbow in close by our waist and then back behind us and then inhaling to release exhaling and then inhale to release Now, this time, as you pull into your strap, you're going to add a rotation into your left. Exhaling, trying to rotate the shoulders around to face towards the wall. And then inhale to release, getting that rotation through your spine. But you want to keep the sit bones nice and heavy, so you don't want your right hip to peel off. Last one here. Place the long loop onto your shoulder pin. And we're going to repeat all of that on your right side. So grab hold of the plastic part with your right hand, left hand's behind your head. Exhale, draw the right elbow back behind you. Inhale to release. Three more. Using your breath, belly button's drawing to your spine for two. One more here. When you're ready, you're gonna add in that rotation to your right. Exhale, rotating around, inhaling to release. Four to go. For three, two more, last one, and release, well done. Now with your left hand, grab hold of the plastic part, wiggle your bottom closer towards, towards the edge of the box, arms are straight, inhale, take a deep belly breath, and as you exhale, I want you to roll off your sit bones, arms are still straight. And then you're gonna inhale, re-stack up nice and tall again. So we're exhaling, rolling off our sit bones. Inhaling, lifting all the way back up. So again, you're following that C curve. Shoulders are down, gaze is forward. Belly button's drawing to your spine as you roll off the sit bones. And then lifting all the way back up. Just a couple more like this. Exhaling. Inhaling, lifting. 
on this next one you're going to roll down we're going to hold it here halfway little tiny pulses up and down for six for five and four three two last one let's curl up all the way nice work let's place the long loops onto your shoulder pins and I want you to shuffle your bottom all the way to the edge. Keep your hands wrapped around the edge of the box. I want you to lower yourself down so that your shoulders are on the box. You're gonna float your legs into tabletop and with your head, I want you to support it with both hands. You can even place your head on the foot bar. Now you're gonna come into your toe tap. So you're gonna inhale, lower the leg, lower your right leg down all the way without you feeling it in your back, without arching your back. Then you're gonna draw it back into tabletop and then alternate. So we're inhaling, toe tapping down, exhaling, drawing back into tabletop. So the lower that you send your leg, the more challenging it is for your lower abdominals. And then if you send it halfway, that's perfectly fine, just as long as you're not feeling it in your back and you're still feeling your lower abdominals working. If you would like to make this more challenging, double leg toe taps inhaling and then exhale if that's too much just continue with your single legs Last one here, inhaling, exhaling, drawing back into tabletop. Lower one leg down at a time. Wrap your hands around the base of the box. You're gonna lift yourself all the way up again. Nice work. So you're gonna find a four point kneeling position facing towards the foot bar. So you want your shoulders over your wrist and your knees in line with your hips. Exhale, start to press away from the box, draw your gaze towards your belly button. Inhale, let the belly hang, draw the gaze forward. This is called your cat cow. We're rounding the back and then we're arching the back. So getting that movement through the spine. Exhaling to round. Inhale, let the belly hang, draw the gaze forward. Two more like this. Inhale, let the belly hang. And one more like this. Exhaling, rounding. Inhale, let the belly hang and then you're gonna find neutral spine. The next exercise is your quadruped. You're going to extend your right arm as you extend your left leg back. And I want you to do this with a minimal shift through your pelvis. Exhaling, inhaling to bend. So find length through the fingertips, find length through the legs. If you have any wrist issues, you can always come onto your fists. So it just takes the pressure out of your hands or your wrists. Reaching long, belly buttons drawing to your spine. And again. The next time that you extend your opposite arm, opposite leg long, I want you to hold it here. You're gonna open the arm and leg out just 20 centimeters from your midline. Inhaling, exhaling. Trying to hold yourself nice and steady. Lower the arm, lower the leg. We're going to swap to the other side. So opening out just 20 centimeters from the midline and then drawing it back in line with your body and then repeating. Two more. One. Lower all the way down. Well done. You're going to carefully lower yourself down so that your chest is in line with the edge of the box and your hands wrap around the foot bar. Legs are reaching out long behind you. You're going to exhale, press away from the bar, lengthen your arms. Inhale to bend. We're still on a red spring. Just getting some movement through the shoulders and your scapula. Keep those legs squeezed together. Exhaling, press away. Inhale to bend. Next time that you press away, keep the arms straight. We're gonna inhale, start to lift up with straight arms, peel the chest off the box, and then exhale to lower. So inhale, lift up through the crown of your head, shoulders are down, arms are straight, the carriage is drawing in to the springs, and then exhaling to lower. 
So getting a nice deep stretch through the abdominals. Legs are still reaching out long behind you. We're inhaling, lifting, shoulders are down, arms are straight. Exhaling to lower down. Bend your elbows, draw the carriage all the way in. We're stepping off of the box and you're going to place the box off to the side of the reformer. Make sure it's right up against the side of the reformer because you're going to place your right foot in the top left hand corner and your left foot up against your shoulder rest. Bend through both knees, stick your bottom back and then with your left hand place it on top of the foot bar. It's going to allow for some balance. So keeping that right leg still, we're not bobbing up and down, you're extending that left leg back. If you've got the balance, you can place your left hand behind your back and continue extending through the left leg. Inhaling and then exhaling, really sitting deeply into the right leg, using your breath. Two more. Last one here. Draw the carriage in, standing up tall. And you're going to step off of the carriage, step off of the box, grab hold of that box. Let's swap over to the other side. So we're going to repeat the whole thing with our left leg being our standing and supporting leg, and then our right leg being our scooter leg. So bend through both knees, stick the bottom out. Right hand can come on top of the foot bar, extend the right leg long, inhale to bend. Keeping that left leg still, that's not moving at all. Once you've got your balance, you can place your right hand behind your back, continue running with your right leg. Two more. Final one here. Draw the carriage in, standing up tall. You're going to step down from there. Take the box off to one side and you're going to add on a blue spring. So you've got one red, one blue. Lie onto your back, grab hold of your long loops, place your left foot into that long strap and then step into your left foot, then place the right long loop over the arch of your right foot. You can place your hands onto your hip bones. We're gonna float the legs up to the ceiling as far as we can without letting our pelvis tilt. And then exhale, reach the legs away from you as far as you can without letting your pelvis tilt in the other direction. So we're working into our lift and lowers. You wanna be able to keep the pelvis steady throughout your feet and straps. If you feel quite unstable, you can either make the movement smaller or you can change the blue spring to a red spring so that way you end up with two red springs. It'll just give you a little bit more feedback. The next time that you lower your legs down to 45 degrees, you're going to open the legs out wide and then I want you to exhale, drag your heels together. Inhale, opening out exhale drag the heels together so you're working your inner thighs the wider that you open your legs the more intense it is through the inner thighs and the smaller you open the less intense it is inhaling and then exhaling here good when you're ready your last little bit of footwork or feet and straps you're going to come into your froggies so heels are connected, toes are separated. We're squeezing our inner thighs as we extend the legs. Inhale to bend. Again, we're keeping our pelvis in neutral, our spine in neutral. Pelvis is staying still. Squeeze inner thighs as you extend. Just a few more like this. Last one, extend the legs out long. 
float the legs up to the ceiling, come to parallel, and then you're gonna flex your feet back. Really drive your heels up to the ceiling. You can grab hold onto your rope so you get a hemi stretch. Hold this here. And then you're gonna open your legs out wide to the side. Get an inner thigh stretch and release. You can add on a little rock from side to side when you're ready. And then draw the feet, the soles of the feet together. You're gonna to lower the legs down into the spring. So you get a bit of a, a hip opening stretch, bit of a quad stretch. Try not to arch the back here. Keep the backs of the ribs engaged onto the carriage. And then you're gonna carefully draw your feet out of there. Take one foot out at a time and place the long loops onto your shoulder pins. Separate your feet to as wide as a foot by. You can grab hold of your shoulder rests and just drop your knees from side to side. So it's like a little a wiper action with the knees and the legs. And once you feel like you've stretched out, you're all finished. Thank you so much for joining and I'll see you again next time. If you enjoyed this class, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much.